Hello and welcome to the OCLO Bronco channel. My name is John and I'm here to talk to you today about the Bronc Buster 3 inch body lift. Put those safety glasses on because we're about to get real dirty here. Bronc Buster, they were put on the map with their invention called the Buster Brace, which are for your tie rods to reinforce them in a way that uh, prevent them from snapping in two. And they also have a bronc bushing that is designed to prevent your tie rod in from punching through your rack and pinion. Awesome stuff, man. I mean, it's, it's really innovative. Um, I'm not getting that sophisticated with it right now. I'm just looking at a body lift. So I'm looking at the bronc buster body lift and it's actually called the bronc booster body lift. Now, uh, it comes in a one and a half inch and a three inch version. And they also have some other features where you can relocate bumpers as well as relocate different types of bumpers uh, with and without adaptive crews. So that is really a benefit right there. To, you, can, you can part this out in such a way that you're able to focus into specifics about your Bronco. Now, in terms of the installation and what it affects, the lift kit really only affects two things. And one is the air intake. You have to adjust the angle. And the other is a ground wire that you have to add an extension to. So neither one of these are major, major modifications. So this lift kit is relatively easy to install. Now, when I say easy, <laughs> I don't mean physically easy, I just mean technically. Inside the Bronc Buster Booster Body Lift Kit, you're going to have eight composite three inch pucks. You'll have eight three quarter inch bolts with washers and one wire harness kit. Optionally, you can use an impact wrench to remove the old body bolts. You'll need an 18 millimeter socket for the front two a 15 millimeter socket for the other six. The brake lines are just long enough for a three inch body lift. However, you need to keep an eye on them while you're lifting the body from the frame to insert the pucks. Inside the fender well on the front driver, you will find a ground cable that needs to be disconnected before you go to lift the frame. One other ground cable exists on the firewall that could be pulled too tight while lifting. You may want to cut the tie rack. Accessing the front body bolt requires an extension as well as a universal extension to get the angle to access it. The other six body bolts are located on each side at the rear, just in front of the rear tire, and just behind the front tire. Here you can see that I'm loosening up the body bolts on the driver's side. Once all four bolts were loosened, I then set up the jack and began to slowly lift the body from the frame. Keep in mind, you got to keep a check on other things other than just the body and the frame. You need to make sure that that ground wire is not getting caught on anything, as well as you're not putting too much of a bind on the brake lines, as I mentioned before. Here I'm inserting the pucks on the passenger side, rear three mount points. Once the bolts were inserted and the threads were started and finger tight, I lowered the jack, repositioned it further to the front and then raise it up again so that I could gain access to the front mount point to insert the puck. Since Bronc Buster custom milled their own bolts for this kit, and there is a composite between the body and the frame, I am not certain what the torque specification should be, so I guessed. Here are a few shots to close, give you some before and after perspective about what that three inch lift kit does and how it looks and what else might need to be done later.